Hello everyone. Yeah, the project for this summer is going to be to get these bikes cleaned up and good to go. I've been lying here for about two years now, yeah, as you can see. It's a mess out here. Yeah, Spider-Man has been here. There you go. So yeah, I'm no expert at repairing bikes, but as a kid growing up in India, I've seen uh, how they are repaired. I don't have uh, any experience doing it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm not going to open them up completely. Just, uh, you know, probably change the important stuff like, yeah, as you can see, tires are in pretty bad shape. So the tires have got to be changed for sure. <coughs> Sorry. And I've got to yeah, do something about the rust. You can see pretty badly rusted. So, yeah rub it up a bit and you know oil the parts that need oiling because you can see the the chains yeah <coughs> yeah absolutely rusted now I'm not gonna get into the gear stuff because I don't know anything about it I don't have any tools with me as well so I just gotta figure out you know the important stuff all the necessary tools just to to open these out and then change the tires so yeah I'm not gonna do a lot of opening up just enough to replace the stuff that needs to be replaced and most of it is gonna be just you know cleaning it up I guess yep everything seems to be jammed in fact yeah, this brake wire has snapped so you know it's all rusted yeah, it's snapped it's not completely if you can see that so that all has to be changed and hope this works yes yeah, all needs to be oiled up as well seats and all look, look pretty good not too bad just need cleaning up yeah so that's the project for this summer to get these bikes cleaned up and ready to go do some cycling it's been a while. Hi everybody. Yeah, I was taking a look at the uh, tires and well at least for this bike, the tires don't seem that damaged so probably what might have happened was you know there's just a small puncture or something in these tires which uh, can be repaired very easily I'm sure. I don't want to spend that much to replace these tires because they look pretty good on this bike. That bike, for sure, it has to be changed, but looks pretty good on this one. So what I'm going to do here right now is uh, uh, I'm going to pump them up and leave them for a while and uh, see if, you know, uh, air holes in it. If not, then there's probably a leak, which can be fixed uh, pretty easily, I guess, without changing the tire. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some air in and see if it holds up.
seems okay right now, so I'm just gonna give it a few hours and see if the hair air holds up there. Uh, if not, then I'm sure there's a leak. But uh, definitely, the tires are okay. They look, they seem pretty good. Uh, you know, not damaged or worn out anywhere. And if there is a leak, I can fix that, and it'll be good to go. Okay, now the front tire is perfect. It's got air in it, but let's take a look at the back one. That's flat again, so obviously there's a leak here. And I have to check it. But like I said, you know, the tire, the tire looks good. No problems with the tire, so we just have to fix the leak and that should be okay and then I'll have to work on the rust to try and get the rust out get the chains all the spokes pedals and there's a lot of rust here as well with the seat and the basket is, is horrible so yeah I'll have to figure out a way to probably paint this We'll see to that later. We'll just work on the tire first. First thing in the morning tomorrow. Hi guys, back to the cycle again. As you can see here, the front tire is holding up the air pretty well, and the back tire was the one that was giving us problems. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to fix the leak, and. Before that, I'm just going to wipe up the cycle a little bit, just to get the cobwebs <clears throat> and the dust off the cycle. So once I fix the leak, at least I can use the cycle, and it you know uh, doesn't remain here unused. And what's going to happen is if it's not being used again, then the tires are going to you know get leaks again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this up, fix the leak, and then uh, try and get all the rust out and put some lubrication on the, on the chains, but, uh, basically use it and not let it lie so it gets destroyed again. Give it a try. Whoops! Works perfect. It's a little tight here, though. But I guess a little oiling up will make this work absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> 